Hey guys, my name is New Motion, and I'm back with another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you how to allocate more RAM to your Minecraft vanilla server. Now this might be really simple for you guys, for some people, but I know there are people out there who don't know how to allocate more RAM to their servers, and those are the people I'm aiming for. So just go to where your server is located, and this is where mine is, and this looks like the very average server. But what you're going to want to do is right click, click new, then a new text document, then press enter. You don't have to name it anything because we're not going to be needing this. Then copy this um, quote that's in the description and then just paste it into this test doc text document. And the thing that you're going to want to look at is this dash XMX and dash XMS. And right right now I have it set to allocating one gigabyte to your server but if you have more gigabytes on your computer you can allocate more in to check how much you have click on your start right click on your computer and then click properties then over here you will see that you, in here is installed memory your RAM and it will say your your gig how much you have I have four gigabytes so I can allocate like two but if you have more than that I suggest you allocate more to, it's just your preference and I'll have the RAM multipliers for different numbers of RAM in the description so it will save you some time and just click file save as just na and name it run dot bat run dot bat Make sure it says save as type to all files and click save. Now you can just X this out and then just delete this new text document. Now you just you'll see this run Windows batch files that we made and if you double click on it, it will come up with this and soon it will pop up with another OC right here. And this is basically what you'll need for your server. And if you you need both of these on and if you close any of them the server will close and if you ever want to close the server just type save all then stop then it will just close and that's basically it whenever you want to turn on your server you're gonna want to double click on that run batch file and it's really that simple just be sure to thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe to me as it helps me out a lot. And I'm sure you won't get it. I'm New Motion. Have a nice day. See ya.